In this video, we're going to look, examine the difference between using relative references and absolute references when recording a macro. So please see the other video to record a macro if you have not already. I will link it up above. So to record a macro, as you know, you go to Developer and simply Record Macro. We're going to leave the relative references off. For this macro, we're going to just type our name in cell A1, which we've already selected, and press Enter to move down one line. So let's go ahead and record. I'm going to say type name as the macro name, and I'm going to call it absolute, just ABS. I'm, I'm just going to put this in the workbook. I don't want to put it in my personal macro workbook to be available for all Excel workbooks. All right, so just this workbook and click OK. So I'm going to type my name and just press Enter, which moves the cursor down. And I'm going to then stop recording. All right, so if I move over here to E1 and run that macro, notice the cursor moves back to A2. And that's because when we recorded the macro, it, we told it to move to A2. Let's go ahead to H1 and record a new uh, macro. This time we're going to turn on relative references. So I've selected that, so it is highlighted or grayed out. It's not grayed out, it's just kind of gray box around it. And let's go to record macro. And I'm gonna say type name and I want to say relative, R-E-L for relative. All right, I'm going to type my name and press enter. And then once again, stop recording. This time when I go to another cell and run that macro relative and run, notice it moves just down one cell. So let's take a look at the difference here in the code. So I'm going to open up my Visual Basic window. And I'm going to go to Book 1 and Modules. And there's my Modules. Double click. And you can see when we set it to Absolute, it went to Range A2, Select. And when we recorded it with Relative, it says basically here to move down one row from where we're at. So that is the differences. So just keep in mind, if you want it to always go to the exact cell address that you specify, you want to leave it as absolute. So do not select the relative references box. If you want to have it always move, for example, just down a row, you use the relative references. Now when recording a macro, you can use a combination of the two to try to get it to act exactly the way you would like. I hope you find this helpful and keep in mind, look at some of the other Excel videos that we have out here. Have a great day.